Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to solve a question of lead code. Let us construct the smallest number from di string. So let's start with the problem statement. You are given a zero indexed string pattern of length n consisting of the characters i meaning increasing and d meaning decreasing. So we have given an string pattern that consists of i and d as characters, right? And what we need to do is we need to form a string nums based on the following rules given to us. Right. The first statement is the nums string consists of digits 1 to 9 as a character. Right. These digits are basically represented as the characters and we need to form a string which is consisting of the characters from 1 to 9 and each character must occur only once in the nums string. Right. And the second rule is whenever we get i it means nums of i must be less than nums of i plus 1. It means the pattern is increasing. And the third statement is opposite for the second statement. That is if we get d it means decreasing. So for this decreasing the current element must be greater than the next element. So it will represent the decreasing pattern. right? And what we need to do is we need to return the smallest lexographically possible string. Right, that meets the given condition. So let's quickly see the first example. So in the first example, we have given this string and what we basically need to do is we need to return the lexographically smallest possible string. Right. So let's think it greedily. So whenever we think of a pattern, which is the smallest lexographically. So what can we say is we basically need to take all the digits from one to nine Right. We just need to take all the digits from 1 to 9. So if we form a pattern which is lexographically smallest. So what can we do is we can form a pattern something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till 9. Right. So if we form a pattern something like this. So this will be the smallest or we can say lexographically smallest possible pattern. Right. Now the next step what we need to do is we need to arrange this pattern in the form of increasing and decreasing pattern right so let's quickly see how can we arrange this pattern in this form so let's say first we write the original pattern that is 1 2 3 4 5 till 9 so let me write the pattern here that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right so we basically need to compare between two values that is why we are taking an extra number here right and it is also mentioned here that we need to take a, a string nums of length n plus 1 right so this is containing 8 characters and we have taken 9 characters here right so i hope this is fine now let's quickly compare the pattern here right so this is increasing and if we compare 1 and 2, so this is also increasing. So it's fine. We can move forward. Now let's move to 2 and 3. This is also increasing. And this is also increasing character. So it's fine. Let's move forward. Now we have 3 and 4. For this 3 and 4, this is increasing. And this is also increasing. So it's fine. Now let's move forward. So this is 4 and 5. And this is decreasing. And But this 4 and 5 are increasing. So what can we do is we can directly swap these values right or we can say reverse the values so we will just swap this 4 with 5 so this would be 5 and 4 right so this will give us the decreasing pattern here right now let's check for the next one 4 and 6 for this 4 and 6 this is increasing so and this is also increasing so it's fine now let's see for 6 and 7 this is increasing right this is increasing but we have given decreasing here right we have de given decreasing here so we just need to reverse the order somehow right let's quickly see the forward conditions here so this is also increasing but this is decreasing so we can move forward now 8 and 9 are increasing but this is increasing so we also need to reverse this so what can we do is we can reverse the whole string here right we can reverse the whole string here so let's say we reverse to 9 8 7 and 6 right so our resultant string would be 
let me write uh, answer string here so this is the answer string and what we will be returning from here we will be returning 1 2 3 5 4 9 8 7 and 6 right so this we will be returning from here and let's check the pattern pattern for this so the pattern is this is increasing right this is also increasing then this is also increasing this is decreasing right then this is increasing this is decreasing this is decreasing and this is decreasing right so this is similar to this pattern it means we have got the correct pattern here right so let's quickly see how can we approach this question right so let's say we make a string here let me first clear this all right so let's say we have we make a answer string here right and we also make a stack here right why we are making a stack because a stack is the most easiest way to reverse a string right we already know whenever we need to reverse a string we basically use a stack right we use a stack for we can say for the brute force approach we also use a stack so this is one of the most easiest way to reverse a string and in this case also we are just reversing the pattern right for this d conditions so we are using a stack here right so let's make a stack this is a stack right and this is our answer string all right now let's quickly start the iteration so first we get one right so let's push one into our stack for this one we have i it means increasing so whenever we get increasing we don't need to do anything we will just pop it out from stack and put this into our answer let's push this to answer now we get two for this two let's push to stack and we get i it means increasing so let's push to answer right now we get three so for this three we get i that is increasing so let's pop it out from here and push to answer right now we get four so for this four we get decreasing so we don't need to do anything just move forward now for this next one we get five let's push five here right for this five we get increasing so whenever we were getting increasing what we need to do is we need to just pop it out from the stack and push to answer right and what's the property of a stack a stack follows the property of last in first out so first five will be popped out from here right and then four will be popped out from here right now we get six let's push six here then we get seven now this is decreasing so we don't need to do anything let's push seven again decreasing let's push eight again decreasing right now we get nine let's push nine and we don't do not have anything left so our iteration is completed let's quickly pop out all the values of stack to answer so first we will pop out nine then eight then seven then six right so this will be popped out as nine eight seven and six and this is our answer and we will be returning this as our answer right so i hope this is clear to you if you still have any doubt in this approach feel free to comment it down i will try to explain it again let's move to the coding part so let's quickly take a string that is answer right and let's also make a stack of characters which will be storing our characters and let's name it st now let's run a for loop for int i is equal to zero i should be less than pattern dot size this should be i less than equal to because we need n plus one elements into our into our nums or we can say answer string and let's increment this all right now let's push the numbers into our stack right like we need to push this one two Right. similarly let's push this here so st dot push let's push one plus this i right so initially this will push one if i is zero then if i is one then this will push 
2 and similarly this will go till 9 right now let's check if this pattern of i right before this we can check one more thing if i is equal equal to pattern dot size right if this is equal equal to pattern dot size it means we have completed the iteration of this i and d string right so we will just pop out the elements to this answer right else what we need to check is the other condition would be if pattern of i is equal equal to i it means it is decreasing so in both the condition we were just popping out the elements from the stack and pushing this to answer one right so let's do the same thing here in this case what we were doing while stack is not empty so st empty until and unless stack is not empty what we were doing we were just pushing this to the answer so answer dot push back st dot top and let's pop out from stack so st dot pop right at the end just return answer from here i hope this is fine let's run it on the simple test cases yes giving correct output let's submit this yeah it's perfectly fine so let's discuss the time and space complexity so the time complexity for this solution is big O of n because we are traversing through all the n elements and the space complexity is also big O of n because we are storing at max n elements into this stack right so let me write the same here the time complexity for this solution is big O of n and space complexity is also big O of n right so that is it for this video i hope you understood the solution and the approach if you still have any doubt in this question feel free to comment it down please like this video and subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next video